think about things that you can that you coach in. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, and guess who's with me today? You'd never guess. Hello, everybody. It's Morgan. <laughs> and uh, that is my daughter, Morgan, and she's been my daughter since she was born. And Isn't that true? Yeah. <laughs> but not since I was born. <laughs> but uh, we are going to have a good time today. We're glad that you're spending some of your time with us. We hope you're enjoying your Saturday. And we're going to talk about kind of something that's kind of an inside look at our company. Mm -hmm. And the reason we, we thought of that we would talk about this subject and, and other subjects in the future that are going to be an inside look is because it's a big decision you make in remodeling. And we have the format here to be able to help you to see some things about us that you wouldn't see uh, at first glance or that you might find difficult to find out about and we encourage you to try to look deeper and dig deeper into knowing about your remodeler before you make a decision. You know, they're not, the decision, as we've talked before, shouldn't be about who, who tells you the best price up front because that price is going to change. It's going to be uh, very subjective to what, what the product is and the design and so forth, especially when you get into, you know, full kitchens and baths and large remodeling. Mm -hmm. it's, all, it, it's all what model are you choosing? And so certainly price should not be the reason that you choose it. You should pick someone that you trust. And how do you trust people unless you know them? And of course we, we can go by reviews and we can do a few things that, that might help us get a little bit better idea. But I think as we've talked about just today, one of the biggest reasons that people decide to go with us is because of the personality of the company and who they get to meet and how well they get to understand our processes. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I spend an hour and a half with every client almost, sometimes an hour, sometimes 45 minutes, but, but most of the time an hour and a half to go over all the processes so that they have a good basis to make a decision. Mm -hmm. And I do think that a lot of them make their decision before I walk out the door but I don't ask them to sign anything. In fact, I encourage them not to so that they can think about it. And then if they, when they do call us back, then we know they really are. It's well thought out. But you need to know a lot about your remodeling. That's the bottom line. And unfortunately, most of the time in this industry, people don't know enough. Yeah. And, and what are the results when you don't know enough about your remodeling? Well, there's a lot of things that could happen and there's a lot of things that could go wrong if you don't know enough about them and you don't know how long they've been in business. First of all, they could go out of business very quickly. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is gonna happen real soon as we just heard on the news. <laughs> so what, do you, what someone, yeah. someone saying, um, I have a bad feeling about this economy. I think it was Elon Musk. Yeah. Um, so when, when economies are not just you know booming, um, 
people are going to find out what their company is made out of. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, most, you know, a lot of them, a good portion of them that just started, in fact, statistics show that over 90% of them will fail within two years. Yeah. And 97 will be out of business within five years. Well, that's because they're, have, they're having problems. And just because you catch them before they go out of business doesn't mean that it's not a problem because those types of things are the reasons they're going out of business. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be one of those things that happened yeah. that shows up their weaknesses. Everybody's going to be excited about your project. Yeah, especially if they haven't done one before or if they've only done a couple of them before or they're growing and they want to do these kinds of projects now, but it's very, very dangerous. So one of the things we want to give you some insight to is how we coach at KM. The coaching shows that we're going way in depth in our training of our of our team. And they are they are truly team members and they have a heart for the client and for making people happy. Um, so there's a lot of reasons that people might want to do a good job, mm -hmm. but the most powerful one is it comes from the heart. You just want to do a good job naturally. Yeah. So Morgan is one of our coaches, and we have four other coaches um, in our company, Bob, Tara, Jaime, and Chad. And they all have different roles. Morgan is over the interior design and our client experience and marketing. She's got a big role she fills there. And so there's a lot of coaching that goes on. Mm -hmm. And how many times a week, Morgan, would you say that you're coaching someone in the team? Well, it's, it's after every client interaction. So typically we have about 10 client meetings a week. Right. So... After every client meeting, we have a coaching session. Mm -hmm. And what do you cover in those coaching sessions? Well, we call them feedback loops. And so it's what went right, what things they can tweak that may have just been a little bit wrong, or sometimes, you know, well, that was really bad. Don't mm -hmm. ever do that again. But yeah. a lot of times it's, you know, it's we liken it more to like Tim Duncan's shot coach. Um, free throw coach or whatever, you know, there's little adjustments. He's already an NBA player, but there's little adjustments that can be made to make him just that little bit better. Better superstar. Yeah. yeah, and so that's what these coachings are for the majority of it. When we have a new person, there's a lot more hands-on coaching and we're, we're more heavily involved and there's a lot of major tweaks that need to be made. But right. that's the kind of overall view. Right, that's it. And so, you know, there's actual formal settings mm -hmm. already already uh, designed to have these coaching. As Morgan said, these, these happen on a regular basis with our clients, I mean with our, our team. Uh -huh. And uh, we're very concerned about communication. Mm -hmm. And so one of the biggest things we coach on is how you communicate. How you do it, how often you do it, is it consistent? And also, are you documenting the, com the, the communication? Yeah. So if you think that your client understood you, then go prove it by putting it in writing and sending it to the client. Mm -hmm. And then we'll know for sure we did that they understood. <laughs> and, and that may seem like, well, are you, you know, or you don't trust people? No, we don't trust human nature. Human nature, sometimes we hear what we wanna hear, or we only heard part of it because we're distracted. And so we need to make sure that all of it was heard and putting it in writing, make sure that we didn't misunderstand. It's not necessarily the client. Mm -hmm. It could be us that made it, that didn't hear correctly. Yeah. Now it's hard to do to really blow this because we have typically several people in a meeting with a client. <laughs> in, in the setting that Morgan works in, there's usually multiple people meeting with a client. Mm -hmm. In the production side, which I am very closely linked to, there is a lot of one-on-one -on -one communication that can occur with a project manager, for example. Mm -hmm. And that's just by nature. We can't have two or three people standing around listening at that time because it's very on point. It's very spur of the moment. It's job dictated circumstances and so forth. But we can go back and document it in a text message. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. Now there's several people on the communication thread with every with every client at at all times and that one of those is me 
And so just like Morgan or Bob is involved in a meeting with a client, every meeting, I'm involved with every meeting on the text thread mm -hmm. that goes on. So I understand when something is not understood and I know what we need to do to coach to make that more clear. So communication is one of the biggest things that we coach on. In fact, it is the biggest thing we coach on because most clients recognize that communication is the key to a successful remodeling project. They, they may not know anything else about construction or about their remodel, but they know they want clear communication. And most people mention it, yeah. they really do. So I think it's, it's very important to know that we have a process by which we coach. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so we're gonna talk about coaching, other areas of coaching that uh, are very, very important to us and to you. And we'll, we'll do that when we come back. Before we take the break, I wanna mention something that's on top of mind or top of head to a lot of people, and that is their hair. Um, after 50, I mean, just a, a huge percentage of men lose their hair. And even sometimes, you know, it starts a lot earlier than that. And women too, lose their hair. And if you'd like to get something done about it, instead of just kind of being sad about it, well, I do what I did, go to Limmer Hair Transplant Center. And even though it's called a hair transplant center, they don't only do transplants. They have other techniques that you would probably like to know. And if that's the one for you, I tell you, whatever you do, they have got the absolute best client service, not of a, of a transplant center, hair center, because I've never been to any other, but of any business that you would go to. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Kreji has a wonderful team, and she is as sweet and kind and as professional as you can ever get. Her team is the same. Call them at 210-496-9992. They're right there in Castle Hills, real close by. I didn't even know there was a great place like that in San Antonio <laughs> that was not a franchise. I've been to a franchise one before. Like I said, I've checked out several, but man, this one's very personal. Go to LimmerHTC.com, L-I-M-M-E-R-H-T-C.com, or go again, call them at 496 99 and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Pretty much you are here for eBay Mobile. Song we sang. Thank you, sister. 
supposedly this week, but I texted him yesterday. He hasn't been back to Nevada. It's supposed to be Thursday or Friday, he said. So. Of this week? Mm-hmm. I bought me a Harry the Razor. They from, stink. Uh, from uh, Costco. You don't like them? What does he use? Gillette. Gillette, right? It was really, really sharp. The Harry's? Mm-hmm. I cut myself too. <laughs> that is probably the closest shave I've gotten out of a razor. They have like five blades on them. Well, I guess you must use. Do you use disposable? Oh, mm-hmm. God. What do you use? What does he use? The Pro Guide? The Gillette Pro, Pro Guide? It's got five blades. But I guess, yeah, Harry's would be better than the little Gillette disposable. Yeah. <laughs> they sell the the packs at Costco of the good packs, so you, they're not nearly as expensive as getting them at HEB. And yeah. you just keep the handle. But that handle that What's-Her-Name gave you, Helen, fits, it's a Gillette ProGlide head. Uh. Yeah. Gardening. So it's just a really nice head, a uh, handle. Welcome back to the Game Builders and Modeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're glad you're joining us this Saturday. And we are talking about coaching at KM Builders. I think you'll find this interesting, what we do behind the scenes. Get a little better look at someone you might be interested in talking to about remodeling. And uh, if you're interested in getting a roof, I highly recommend that you call Quick Roofing at 817 477 0999 and they've been trusted in San Antonio and surrounding areas of uh, Texas since 1984 and as I've said before they've done roofs for us and even for my relatives and did a great job and I even went up there and saw the techniques and the type of care they took in cleaning up was very noteworthy again you can go to 817 477 zero nine 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 or just go to quickroofing.com slash san antonio texas so you'll you'll get a hold of them and they'll get a hold of you we were talking about coaching again we mentioned that communication is the number one thing that we coach in mm-hmm. um, everyone has a different method way and style of communication and some of them just aren't very good <laughs> <laughs> and and so we need them to be very good. One of the cheapest things you can fix is what you say. Mm-hmm. And what you say can cost you so much if you're not careful. And so I've said that many times, that the best way to make money is to control what comes out of your mouth. <laughs> because you can, you can really do some damage by saying it wrong and leading to a misunderstanding that cost us a lot of money. Or, you know, it would cost us a lot even more, a lot more, if the client was unhappy because it was said wrong and they misunderstood it, or we we said it wrong and they understood it correctly, we just didn't do it because we misunderstood it. Mm-hmm. And so it can be very costly to have poor communication. So documenting it is a big, big factor, uh, making it consistent and making it uh, better is our big goal in K and Builder. So as Morgan said, we do feedback loops with every client communication, every meeting, and so that we can improve. And then also is communication with um, making sure the client understands the terminology that we use. Because construction terms are very 
you know, it's like a doctor. They can say things two different ways. One way, the patient understands it completely and knows exactly what's wrong with them. And the other way, they talk to other doctors and it's like another language. Right. And that's how construction is. Um, there's technical terms for everything that can be described in a way that the client can understand and visualize and then make a decision which one they want because they're not going to know what the difference between a bullnose trim and a Schluter trim is. Right. It's like uh, <laughs> not everybody knows that I, what I mean when I say I'm, your patella is, is hurt. Yeah, exactly. It's your kneecap. <laughs> yeah. And so those are just, that's like a, a very small example, but it means a big difference to clients to feel comfortable with what they're purchasing and what they're deciding on for their homes. Yeah. So another thing we do in communication is um, define the terms, mm -hmm. as we said, make it timely, make it consistent, document it, but also illustrate it. Mm -hmm. And that way there's no myth, there's no misunderstanding. If you know what it looks like, and then you saw it in a document, or you saw the timing, or you saw the schedule, you saw the calendar, there's no question then. It's not a misunderstanding. And you can eliminate almost all misunderstandings. Yep. But it does take a lot of work to do that. You have to be on top of it all the time, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. There's some other things that we coach on, obviously, not just mm -hmm. communication, uh, because it's a construction company. It's a design-build company. Mm -hmm. So we start with coaching on techniques and design. Uh, I think a lot about the architecture and how we built that up and how many times we've gotten better at architecture. Mm -hmm. It's not that they didn't, you know, the three designers that have a degree in architecture, it's not that they don't know how to design or know what architecture is. It's just a way of illustrating it better for the client. Mm -hmm. And there is definitely more than one way to build a bathroom, kitchen, room addition, second floor addition, or whole house remodel, mm -hmm. or front porch, or, or back patio, yeah. uh, gazebo, whatever. There's so many different techniques. It's really as many opportunities as there are in nature. So what are, which one are we gonna go with? Well, we just have to really understand which designs fit into which budgets better, and experience helps so much in that, but again, we have a team that works together so they can say, well, we've seen this work better in these situations. We've done jobs like this where that actually helped and worked and so forth. So that's a part of the coaching, constantly. It's, it's very much like, like you were using the sports illustration with Duncan. Mm -hmm. um, here's a defense that works whenever the, the, the opposition does this type of offense. Mm -hmm. And not everybody's seen that formation. So yeah. you have to get them acquainted with it. And then it has to be almost um, second nature to them mm -hmm. so that, that it actually is a response quick enough to give the results quick enough to make people happy. Mm -hmm. And so we do a lot of coaching and design after every meeting with a client, or I should say before every meeting with a client, there is a session where the designs are reviewed and tweaked. Mm -hmm. And I know you've sat in on many of those. Yes. More than I have. <laughs> Yeah, we do a couple of them, but the first one is when we're creating the design. And so we have the whole team together creating the one, the first and second option for the client. So the coaching that happens there is uh, me or Bob making sure that we are seeing new designs, that we're not just producing the same kitchens, the same bathrooms over and over again. We're also making sure that it's actually buildable and buildable within the budget. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then we also are making sure that the, that the client's needs are taken care of. So all of everyone is sitting around and, and throwing in their ideas, but creating the two that we end up presenting. Yeah, it's, like, it's really like an architectural brainstorming mm -hmm. and then uh, architectural tweaking mm -hmm after the ideas have come and then and you can't you can't put a time limit on what it's going to take to come up with the best ideas no. so multiple meetings in some cases to get those desired results and then then again feedback from the client mm -hmm. so uh, then we we coach on how did we respond to the client's response mm -hmm. and sometimes we need to improve that <laughs> sometimes we need to be quicker to listen yeah. and not be too stuck on our own ideas. <laughs> and so we coach on those things. Yeah. Um, 
it's not just did you do a beautiful design well yeah but it has to meet all the other parameters mm -hmm. and so feedback loops again after those meetings with clients but many meetings between the teams before they even meet with the client mm -hmm. and it takes time yeah but and we care that much to spend that much time yeah and not letting a client do a bad design too so that's something that we work really hard at pushing clients to give them the best design and and leading them to understand why that's really not going to work for you that's right and and then interior design you do the same thing yeah you have multiple meetings i know and then you go back with your your interior designers afterward and i know we were talking on the way over here about some of the techniques that you have to refine on staying organized and and making the client be able to to approve their selections right away so that way we get things ordered and they're not back ordered because we're living in that time right now. Yeah, and one thing we've talked about, if it gets back ordered, sometimes it's discontinued. Mm -hmm. And if you could have beat that by even a few weeks, it might not be discontinued. Yeah. And things are changing greatly. So it's we're having to tighten up all these things. The economy and the, uh, you know, the supply chain issues have really put more pressure on us to be better. And that, that coaching that we do in interior design and all these products, because you have a lot of products in yeah. a typical remodeling project. And if one of them changes, it changes other things. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, it happens. Some of it is beyond our control. Mm -hmm. And we order them in time and they still tell us, oh, by the way, that's, that's not available now. What? We yeah. checked on that when we ordered it and there's nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. But um, some of it can be avoided by just really getting on a tight schedule. And that's what Morgan really is tightening up in our company to make it even tighter, and so are our other coaches. Um, before we go to our break, I just want to mention Frank's Paint and Body Shop. He's worked on the Lexus, the Hellcat, and one other vehicle. I can't remember which one it was. Oh, my truck. <laughs> and so um, you can call him and have him work on yours. He works on Lexus at Dominion, and he's at 210 Nine two seven thirty four ten. I hope you call Frank. He's a super nice guy, and you'll like working with him. At nine two seven thirty four ten, Frank's Paint and Body Shop. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. This is News Radio twelve hundred. Meanie, oh wait, wait a second. Does he realize mine are still on? <laughs> You're like, take them off. <laughs> Listen. It was on June 4th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today is June 4th. June 1st. I don't know why I said that. Because four had four killed. cool months. Oh yeah. It's gone. Six degrees, eight degrees, ten degrees over normal for May. And now June. You know, we would have had high eighties, mid to high eighties in, in uh in May. 
Who do you remember that? Well, they keep saying, they tell you. They tell you that it's it was it was 10 degrees over normal or 15 degrees over normal. Yeah. Last year we had Last a, year was mild. Last year we had a great May. Yeah. But I remember always being hot when I was a kid. Don't you? When 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we no. were in droughts and it was miserable. June and July and August, yeah, but they were not it was not it was not 100 degrees in May. I can't even remember well, it 100, being 100 degrees, degrees. Yeah. It's 100 degrees in May so far? Yes. Multiple days that. we hit 100. When we went to San Francisco, oh, see we that's 100, why because we weren't here. But but the week before that it was 100. Well, I mean, it, was, it, was it, was, it was raining. It was 97. Before. The few days it's before been that. It's raining and humid. And it's been it's been a horrible month of high heat. Yeah. And that's not normal. It's normally around 90 degrees in 89 to 90 in those months in May. I think early May is like high 80s, and late May and early June is 90, average temperature, high, average high, and then in the end of June, I think it goes up to like 95 is the average, is the, the average high, 94, and then 96 in, in August, July.
Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And we, we know that uh, most of your homes, the bones are good. We, that's why we believe in remodeling them. And you may be wondering if your home has good bones and I can come talk to you. You can give us a call at 680-5626 and I'll make sure that um, my lovely assistant will get you an appointment where I can come visit you and give you some good advice. And I uh, want to mention our sponsor for this segment of the show is Certified Small Engine. And Hywell Wilson out there on Tuzzle Road is just an expert at small engine repairs and replacement. He has all of your lawn tool specialties. He, he sells to the professionals. And so if you're a homeowner and you want something that lasts longer than the the big box store parts and pieces that go to Highwall. I know that it makes a big difference if you get professional equipment. And even though I've never been a professional lawn uh, maintenance type of person, I've never had that business, I've always liked to buy the professional's tools. <laughs> and it works way better. It really does. And so he's he's given me, I've bought equipment for him for years. You can too. Call him at 210-523-1138, 523-1138. Or go to small certified smallengine.com. And so we were talking about communication and uh, the coaching, how we we coach on communication at KDM Builders. Yeah. The consistent, the documenting, the illustrating, the terms. After every client meeting, there's a feedback loop. Morgan's in most of those. And we also coach on techniques, whether it's architectural design, the interior design, the way it's explained. It's just a lot of customer care, a lot of ideas being shared back and forth. It needs to be monitored closely. Mm -hmm. We used to take it a little more for granted that, that oh, we can get this, we can nail this, but it's complex. And ideas and peoples and personalities are complex. So we don't want to take a chance. So we have multiple people in those meetings to make sure that you're getting the best service as possible. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like going to a restaurant and you can have one person cook all your food and serve you, but and once it starts getting two or three people in there, you're going to have trouble. So you probably want a team. And that's what we do. We offer a team that makes sure that we coach on these things. Another thing we coach on is construction techniques. Everybody that comes to KM Builders learns construction techniques. We are extremely experienced in construction. That's why we're a design and build company. And uh, we have over 700 years combined experience in KM Builders, and we use it to your benefit by coaching, coaching, coaching on demolition, on carpentry, uh, even cleanup techniques. As we talked about uh, in, a, in a pre another show about safety techniques is huge. We have safety meetings every month and repeated a safety inspector that goes out from KM Builders to make sure that they're safe. So whether it's demolition, which by the way, we get kudos from the very beginning from our clients because of how they've been trained and what they do mm -hmm. and how careful they are and how caring they are. The carpentry work, I just gotta say that we've had clients comment that the inspectors make comments to them about our construction techniques and how superior they are and how they wouldn't even have to really inspect our work. Wow. And they've actually showed them things that we do above and beyond what's the code, what's required in the codes. So we, it only happens because Chad coaches this construction team constantly on their techniques. Mm -hmm. And that saves time, money, and a lot of pain, and it builds a lot of trust with the clients. Mm -hmm. Another thing that we really, really believe in coaching on is in mistakes and errors and what we do in these situations. It's very important that we coach on what to do when something goes wrong. And so I think it seems like I've only been talking for a few minutes, but it's almost, <laughs> almost near a break now. Isn't I know. It? <laughs> Those commercials they run of us has taken up our time. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and, and run a little long on this. But the mistakes and the errors, it's really not a, not a question of if there's going to be a mistake or, or something happened on a job. It's a matter of when. And if you know that eventually there's going to be a problem that needs to be addressed with a client, however minor we can hope that this will be, 
it can still be disconcerting to a client if it's not handled correctly. Let's just talk about a spot on a wall. A white wall has a black spot on it. Is that a big deal? Well, it's not if it's taken care of, but it sure is a big deal if it's left. And if somebody feels that it's not a big deal to you and it's their house, well, then it becomes even bigger. So we, we really do coach on transparency and on even the language we use in addressing problems with clients. There's never any condescending tone or um, minimizing it as if to say, well, we don't understand what you're worried about, it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. And we, and we all know it's a big deal because we coached on this. We've told them it is a big deal. You make sure it's a big deal to you too because it's a big deal to the client. Yes, we know you're going to take care of it and we know that it's human nature to, to downplay things so people don't get too excited but it's only going to escalate unless you make sure that it's a big deal to you. And so they talk on that direction and mm -hmm. say, we understand and this is how we're gonna take care of it. I wanna make sure I understand exactly what you're referring to. Is this the area we're referring to? Yes, okay, I see it. And we're going to do this, this, and this to take care of it. And is there anything else that you need us to look at or to take care of? And once you've got somebody completely on your side and understanding, your trust goes right back up. Yes. And and that's what we do. That's what we coach on the K and Builder. So we've talked about communication before, but that goes into this area in construction, in the build portion of it. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. Um, I want to mention one more sponsor before we go to our last break, and that is, well, actually we can go to our break and we'll mention it when we come back. We're gonna. <laughs> We'll take a break right now, and we'll see you in a few minutes on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I just love my new KM Master Suite remodel, and it went so smooth. Morgan, your it concepts and our design traffic. team really shine. Who do you think our clients would appreciate the most? The Definitely the time. daily communication. Every morning, there was a text message telling me exactly what, what to expect that day. Everyone was so talented and extremely it was because I'm he proud went that our team treats all of our times. clients like family. Call 680 and Let us design your experience. Or go to kmbuilders.com. At ASCO, we don't spend time getting ready. We are ready. That's what it means when we say we're on it. We are on it with dedicated service and support, rentals, sales, and delivery. We're on it with case construction equipment, equipment that's powerful, efficient, and dependable. Case equipment that can dominate a job site, endure the elements, and be up and running whenever you're ready to finish the job. At ASCO, we're on it, whatever it is. Imagine selling your home and getting paid twice? How's that even possible? To sell your home and get paid twice? You can with Orchard. It's simple. Orchard makes you a solid cash offer on your home. If you agree, boom. Here's your cash. Orchard handles everything from there. Paint, repair, list, and show your home. And if your old home sells for more than Orchard paid for it, you get the extra cash. And that happens 99% of the time with Orchard. Learn how and get a free offer at Orchard.com. That's Orchard.com. I'm a quality control engineer. I'm a company dancer with Texas Valley Theater. Whoa! Mutual insurance company. What? You know 105 on Monday? Texas. Isn't that crazy? Oh, man. Well, I guess I'll be blowing up the blow up pool. <laughs> We're not off on Monday. So, when I get home, Put sure fresh is going to be in. hot. Oh, yeah. Just drain it. <sighs> Tommy was telling me that he can turn on a pump that no, makes it, it chills it. Chills it. Yeah. That's a must have if you have a pool. Especially if it's in the sun. Yeah. What pools aren't in the sun? Mine wouldn't be. <laughs> be hidden behind the fence. At the hot part of the day, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, probably some some part of it could get hot, but
just how we get started. You haven't done BioGreen. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, you did. You didn't do Rio Medina. Right. But I skipped one at the end. And did you do this one? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. did them all. Oh look, you can stop. Oh yeah. Welcome back to the Game Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We're going to wrap it up. I want to mention my sponsor, Rio Medina Truck and Auto Repair and Marine. Uh, just a great family-owned business that really takes personal care of your vehicle, your truck, your car, or your boat. And uh, even if you've got a hot rod, you want to get it fixed, he knows racing equipment extremely well. And, uh, I mean, they... They'll fix your trailer for your boat. They customized my trailer so that I could get it inside the garage. Um, just really creative and very, very thorough. I've never been to a company that worked on a boat that could do all the things related to the boat, including the trailer, the, the, the um, actual upholstery. They can do your upholstery. They can do your paint job on your boat, repaint it if you like. Uh, obviously, redo the lights, the wiring, the engine, put a new engine in it, make it more powerful, and he has a lot of fun doing it. And you'll have a blast when you meet with Nikki at Rio Medina Truck and Auto Repair and Marine. They're at four, uh, FM 471, just past 1604, a few miles, and uh, you can call them at 830-931-9060. 830-931-9060 or go to Rio Medina Truck Auto Repair.com. I know you'll be glad you did. We're, we're wrapping up our show. Show, thank you. <laughs> on coaching. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we talked about coaching for communication constantly, the techniques in design, architecture, interior design, cabinet design, the construction, demolition, carpentry, painting techniques. Uh, all of the above, even texturing techniques, all of these things make a difference in the finished product and in how a client feels about it. We talked about coaching in the communication when there's a mistake made. Eventually there's going to be a mistake or something didn't go as planned and how we communicate on that is we're coaching constantly. How big do you think coaching is in our company? Well, I think it's a majority of what we do and it's a huge reason why we're successful because you could just never get better if you didn't have people watching out for what to improve. Yeah, and you know, I know from my perspective when there was less coaches, there was less coaching. Yeah. And uh, that sounds silly, but it's so true. Uh, and many companies do not have the coaches that we have, like we have them mm -hmm. set in place for that very reason so that we are constantly getting better and not falling back. And that was one thing that it would happen. We'd do well, and, and then we would slide backwards on something. Mm -hmm. But now, the constant feedback, they know what to expect, and they know what they're going to have to talk about if they didn't do it right. And so it tends to train a whole lot better 
whenever we are doing it regularly and consistently. And I agree with you. Coaching has been the key to our success. We have seen clients so much happier and just willing to go all the way with the project and not hesitate because we're doing so much better in the steps that make them feel confident and comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a privilege to be able to make people happy very early on and then later on in the, in the design side and then in the construction side to see that they're still happy and that they were so glad and they do not, they do not regret the decision. Yeah. You know, we've had some difficult situations to deal with with product arrival and some, and even changes that clients have asked for, they want to upgrade and that became, a, became difficult, but they stuck with it. They saw we stuck with it and uh, they were really glad they did. So whatever you need, give us a call at 680-5626. If you're driving, just remember 680-KM-GO. And you can look us up at kmbuilders.com because at KM Builders, we have not only designed beautiful projects, but we have designed the experience. So you can experience the design. Have a great weekend. Someone was commenting. What'd you say? Someone was co uh, commenting.